uh, liberals are dared to listen to the king of conservative radio. They took the Rush Challenge and wait until you hear what they think of him now. Has some Take the Limbaugh Challenge. Our next guest has dared liberals and mainstream media as well to take a real listen to Rush Limbaugh to find out if they really do disagree what he's saying. So they did, and the results are in the LA Times today. How's it going? Let's ask Andrew Clavin. He's a novelist and screenwriter. Newest book, uh, The Hit the Stores, uh, at the end of the month is going to be called The Last Thing I Remember. Andrew, welcome. Thanks. It's good to be here. All right, Andrew, what happened when you asked liberals to listen? Did they? What did they find out? Well, you know what? The reactions were, the, the reaction was kind of predictable, but it was also kind of revealing. I got a lot of letters in my inbox that were full of uh, hatred and vitriol and foul language telling me how hateful and vitriolic and foul Rush was. And uh, that was kind of revealing to me of a double standard. Uh, you know, the left uh, has guys like uh, Bill Maher and mm -hmm. uh, John Stewart. Uh, they're constantly dropping F-bombs on people, uh, Sarah Palin, anyone who believes in God. And the mainstream media goes out and says, oh, these people are outrageous and incendiary and clever and interesting. But when Rush starts to make jokes, outlandish jokes about uh, the people who want to take our liberty and take our, pow our money and our power, uh, they call him hateful. Suddenly he's right. hateful. And I thought that there was a lot of that in my, uh, in my mailbox. And in fact, uh, I understand, Andrew, that uh, when a number of liberals uh, wrote out, uh, what, what was discovered was the fact that they do listen to Rush. They listen to him a lot. Uh, you know what? Uh, they say they listen to him. Well, but, Norman, uh, for instance, you know what? Andrew Norman Lear, the famous sitcom guy who's also a, a backer of a number of liberal causes, he even subscribes to uh, Russia's premium service so that he can get the transcripts and stuff like that. Now, there's somebody who's very interested in what Rush Limbaugh has to say. He says he is, but you know, I noticed in his article in the Times that the quotes he, he uh, put in there were the usual quotes that are excerpted by the mainstream media and taken completely out of context. Right. And that's one of the tricks they use to get people to think that Rush is hateful. Listen, you know, the funny thing about Rush is he has a lot to say and he does say outlandish things and he has a lot of bluster and funniness. But He's empowered by one central idea all the time, which is that you should be free, that you should decide how to spend sure. your money and how to live your life. Yeah. And I think a lot of people, especially this uh, administration and the mainstream media, they think, oh, we're the right. experts. We went to the Ivy League schools. Mm -hmm. Andrew, we I'm know not what your to agent, do with your money. but you would be a great talk show host as well. Uh, sure. And his new <laughs> Thank book you very much. is coming out, coming out shortly. It's called The Last Thing I Remember. Andrew Clavin, thanks for joining us today from the L.A. area. Thanks, sir. It's a pleasure.